landlords. Gonzalez said the landlords were trying to bypass the legal and often lengthy process so they could get their buildings rented out more quickly. Lisa G, New York. The Senate takes up the first significant step in repealing Obamacare. USA's Chris Barnes has details. The Obamacare bridge is collapsing and we're sending in a rescue team. Those words from Republican Senator Mike Enzi shortly before senators narrowly voted along party lines on a procedural measure that will eventually allow the repeal of the Affordable Care Act with a simple majority vote. Strongly against it, Democrat Bernie Sanders, who says... If they do that, up to 30 million Americans will lose their health care, with many thousands dying as a result. I'm Chris Barnes. The Dow Jones Industrial is off 63.28 to close at 19.891. NASDAQ off 16 at 55.47. This is USA Radio News. Welcome to Out and About in the Big Easy with Chef Kevin Belton and PJ LaReve. Kevin, how was the weekend? I tell you what, seven deadly sins. I heard. Let me tell you, I, I, I saw our roving reporter there, Bubba Gut. Was he there? He was there, and, and he's going to have to come get us, us a report on that. Uh, I can't wait to that. I did. You know what? I'm going to text they, Bubba right now because I, I think I... I think we could get him in the studio before the end of the show. We'll do like just a quickie just to see how he enjoyed. This I don't know. I might have to catch him next sins. week because I tell you what, he sinned. He sinned. It was amazing, David Castillo, how he put together the music with all the different sadly, seven deadly sins. I mean, we have so many talented people in this city. I mean, we are so blessed to have the entertainment mm-hmm. that we do have in this city. And, and you had gluttony, right? I had gluttony. I did a little pulled pork with macaroni and cheese and a little crumbled bacon right on the top of it. <laughs> All right, so let's get into our first guest here, who is uh, just an amazing, amazing. Uh, I, I can't, can I see the word amazing a bunch of times? Yes, you can. You, you know, Patrick. Yes, sir. Here in New Orleans, so many people complained when they actually closed that little block of Iberville Street behind the Sanger Theater after Katrina. Right, right. If you have ever been to New York Mm -hmm. and gone to a Broadway play, it is absolutely amazing. The Sanger Theater is a great theater, Mm -hmm. but it couldn't bring in the big shows because the stage wasn't big enough. I don't think people understand how deep a stage is. When they closed off the back that back Iberville Street and extended the theater. Right. It takes our theater to a whole new game. I know. I know. And one of the best productions that shows just what it takes is in town now. Disney's The Lion King. Baby. And joining us now is Gerald Ramsey, who plays Mufasa. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Gerald, are you there? I'm here, man. I'm here. Excited. I, I tell you what. It, it's First, tell us. I mean, you were born in American Samoa, weren't you? Well, I was born in uh, Tacoma, Washington State, and then I moved to American Samoa when I was a baby. Okay. And that's where I was raised, yeah. Well, you know, it, it's when I travel around. I'm from New Orleans. I, I'm what? considered a Creole New Orleanian and mm. people always say what are you and sometimes I just say I'm Samoan <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're 6'9", 400 pound and light skin, that's a simple answer, I'm Samoan oh, you're so See, big, but when Kevin. I tell people when I tell people I'm Samoan they don't believe me they said oh you're too skinny <laughs> well I tell you what that's uh, that's okay how did how did uh, did you get into acting in high school, in, in college? When did this bug bite? Man, um, you know, people tell me, like, oh, lucky you, you're living your dream now. But And I always tell them, you know what, this was never really a dream of mine, man. Like, <laughs> and you never think it's possible um, to be on this level. And I think the most experience we get is from our culture and our heritage. Growing up back home in Samoa, we do a lot of singing and dancing. 
uh, you know, for the village or for the church, and that's pretty much the foundation of what I do. It's nothing uh, much that I learned or was trained for in school or formally uh, or professionally, you know what I mean? Oh, sure. I mean, you know, so much in Louisiana, we, we learn cooking and eating at the table from mother and grandmother and things like that. And, and I can see, I always thought that that was an area also that was super rich in keeping the culture in, mm. in that area. And, and, and that's something that's so amazing, yeah, that when I first came into the show, I was kind of self-conscious, like, man, I don't have the same uh, formal education background as most of the people that I work with. But I see the people of New Orleans and Louisiana like you don't have to go to school to be proud of who you are and what you do and to believe that you're just as good as everyone else. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautifully said. You know, Kevin went to your show. Um, what was it this week? Right. Last last week. Yes. And that's all he could talk about. I mean, evidently, the production was just so overwhelming for him. And he, this morning when he was talking to us about um, you and, and, and your portrayal of um, Mufasa, he was just so excited that we almost had to slap him and say, <laughs> Cal calm down and talk right, you know. <laughs> well, man, I understand honored, you man. went to um, University of Hawaii in Hilo, right? Yes, that's where I uh, went to school for four years and graduated from there. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, we're that's one of my favorite islands. We were just in uh, Oahu recently, and I didn't have a chance to jump to the big island this time. But, man, what a beautiful and, place to go to college. Oh, my gosh. And it reminds me so much of uh, American Samoa back home, and I think that's why I, I really did love it there as well. That's beautiful. Is, is this your first time in New Orleans? This is my first and I'm, man, I'm not BSing you at all. This has been a dream of mine almost my entire life to come to New Orleans. I can't believe I'm here. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and have you had a chance to get out and explore the city any or any restaurants or food? Just a tiny bit. Uh, the first week is always hectic. We pretty much had two shows every day last week. But yesterday was our first day off slept in, and then I got invited to come check out, uh, I think you call them Second Line? Oh. Yes. <laughs> they had a Second Line going around the block for um, one of the ladies' uh, mothers in our show. Oh, that's I, great. Man, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. <laughs> well, you're going to be here long enough, I'm assuming, for Mardi Gras. We're here for about three more weeks, so I'm aware it's Mardi Gras season, so hey. Yep. Off air, I'll give you my number, and we'll take you to a Mardi Gras parade if uh, if you're up. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be great. I'm so glad you're here um, enjoying our beautiful city. It's just That's just fantastic. I, I love to hear somebody from somewhere else just like, oh, I can't believe I'm in New Orleans. This has been my dream. Oh, that's fantastic. And, you know, I come from a mixed heritage myself, and... I come from places in the Pacific that, you know, that were colonized previously that are of mixed heritage, whether by choice or by not, but we make it work. And I come here and I see that everywhere that I go, you know, there's French and Spanish and American and Native American. It is incredible. It is amazing. Oh, it, you're exactly right. You know, my on my dad's side, there was French, American Indian, and I think maybe a little English. And then on my mom's mm. side, she was from the island of Martinique with American Indian. So it's yeah. just a mixture. Yeah, and yeah. I'm, I'm the same way. Yeah, we have everything from French. We just, uh, my youngest daughter did one of these DNA tests with uh, one of these yeah. companies. And it comes back that uh, we even have Italian in us. And I thought we were always just French and Indian. But now, yeah. we, now we're Italian. I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll have to fly another <laughs> flag at my house. <laughs> Eat some more muffalettos. That's uh, that's the plan. That's right. But I, I think Kevin, if Kevin did his uh, his DNA, it come back like sumo wrestler. <laughs> 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 but you know, I tell you what, that strap gets a little tight. That's why you want to stand up and jump at somebody because when you squat, 
it tightens everything up. Yeah, it's, and you have to spring into action. Joe, that just sounds like experience, right? <laughs> it's a total experience. Come on, Joe. All right, so look, we're, we're talking here with um, Mufasa. Uh, look, we have to do a quick break. Please hold on with us so we can get back real quick. Let's pay some bills, Kevin, and then jump back on with uh, the Lion King. You're listening to Out and About in the Big Easy with Patrick P.J. LaReeve and Chef Kevin Belton. Mm. We'll be back with Gerald Ramsey in just a minute. Hi, this is P.J. LaRee with Out and About in the Big Easy. I want to introduce you to Match Made in Heaven. It's a New Orleans-based company, and this is Brie. If this holiday season has got you feeling dumpy, if your home or business is a little too junky, turn to a Match Made in Heaven cleaning services for all your commercial, residential, and total organizational needs. Call me, Brie, today, and my team of highly trained staff will leave you with a heavenly clean. Call me before your mom and him do. 504-909-2879. Hey, I'm Brant, and I'm a dad and a husband, and this is the kind of thing that's almost unimaginable. Getting the news, your wife has cancer. It happened to Spencer. I couldn't imagine losing my wife. She's my rock. Just a few months before getting the news, Spencer and Brandy switched from medical insurance to MediShare. So they were wondering, is this going to work? When the bills actually start getting paid, you receive what's called a share notice showing exactly who shared what amount to pay your bills. I'd never seen anything like that before in my life. MediShare is growing so fast, and it's easy to see why. They actually care. The first person I talked to, it was a very personal phone call, and they immediately took it to heart and was concerned you know, about what was happening with us. MediShare can save you hundreds of dollars a month, and it's a huge blessing to your family, too. Find out more. It's so simple. Here's the number, 844-43-BIBLE. That's 844-43-BIBLE. Is your weight affecting your appearance? Do you or a family member suffer from diabetes? If yes, you're not alone. Obesity and diabetes have reached epidemic proportions. A key weapon in fighting these ailments is replacing high glycemic ingredients with the daily consumption of kabocha extract. Let me introduce you to Bocha Sweet Pinto Sweetener. It's an all-natural sweetener that tastes like cane sugar, but without the harmful sugar spikes or unwanted weight gain. You see, Bocha Sweet is a low-glycemic pentose that's derived from kabocha, a superfood. It's low in calories, so it promotes weight loss, and no blood sugar spikes, so it's perfect for diabetics. It's just flat-out better tasting than any other sweetener. Taste it for yourself. We know you'll agree. So, for a limited time, you can buy one pound at $9.99 and get a second pound free and free shipping. Go to bochasweet.com now. That's www.bochasweet.com. Taste it and start getting the health benefits of Bocha Sweet today. Bochasweet.com. Hey, folks, this is Jeff Cruer. Join me at 7 a.m. till 11 right here on WGSO 990 a.m. or Ringside Politics with a Punch. We're going to be bringing you great guests. We'll discuss the latest hot topics and, of course, taking your phone calls. On Friday, Ringside All-Star Donna Carol Voss joins us. We'll look at how the confirmation hearings are going. And then Dr. Jerry Gianoli, a healthcare expert, will give us his take on what is going to replace Obamacare. All of that and more right here on Ringside from 7 to 11 on WGSO. And we have the Lion King himself, Mr. Mufasa <laughs> Gerald. So let's let's continue this on, Gerald. So let, go ahead, Kevin. I see you wanting to say something. I, I have to ask. I have to ask. You know, Gerald, Disney is mm. just actually incredible to the costuming. If anybody's ever been to Disneyland or Disney World, you look at the costumes, you look at the, the things that they do that nobody else does. Can you talk a little bit about the costuming, the, the, the things that bring to life on stage that you don't think that you're looking at a person, you're actually seeing that rhino, you're seeing that yeah. giraffe, and, and your headpiece, how it moves. Can you tell our listeners about that? Man, so that's something that, you you know, Lion King's been around for almost 20 years now on stage. And you would think after so many years, they would start to take shortcuts and think, oh, we don't have to be uh, as meticulous. That's not true, man. Even in the makeup itself, 
probably 90% of the people on the stage will not see every detail on the makeup, but every day the makeup artist will make sure that every detail is planned.